Hello everyone! Do you like big and powerful machines? If so, today you're in for a treat. Welcome to our channel everyone! Without further ado, let's get started without a long introduction. Here we go! Track Sleeper's Installation System, RF System, and CEAB. Have you ever thought about how challenging it is to construct a railway? However, with the RF System and CEAB Track Sleeper's Installation System, the work becomes easier and more efficient. When the front-end loader brings the sleepers, a rail-mounted laying machine, based on Volvo, grabs three of them and places them under the rails, securing them in the designated position. And that's it! The installation is complete. Then, it moves on to the next set of three sleepers, and the process continues. The developers aim to enable the transportation of six sleepers at once in the future. Repairing the Railway with PM1000 URM Are there machines for repairing railways? The PM1000 URM is a remarkable machine that excels in this task. It resembles a train or even a factory itself repairing 110 meters of track per hour. This machine removes several layers of ballast from the track bed and recycles it. The usable stones are reused, resulting in significant savings on construction materials. The crushed stones are sieved, separating out any waste, soil, and metals. And here comes the incredible part. The crushed stones are specially shaped using a unique machine. This is necessary to prevent the ballast from shifting when a train passes and to ensure sufficient vibration absorption. Next. New crushed stones are added, and the recycled stones are washed and placed under the rails again. During this process, the same machine adds soil to the track, lays down a rolled waterproof geotextile, and prepares the foundation for the new ballast. The crushed stones are spread and compacted on top of this foundation, while the sides of the track are scanned with a special device. And now it's complete. Once the inspection is finished, the train can depart. Crane Lieber LR 13000 The tallest crawler crane in the world is the Lieber LR 13000. Its standard height is 236 meters, but in July 2013, a crane reaching a height of 248 meters was constructed at the Emden factory equipped with a 120-meter main boom and a 126-meter luffing jib. Today, let's talk about this colossal crane. The LR13000 is the first model to feature two 500-kilowatt diesel engines. These two engines operate independently, so even if one engine malfunctions, the operator can continue working at half the speed. The LR13000 has a maximum lifting capacity of 3,000 tons. To support such a structure, a 400-ton slewing platform and a 1,500-ton derrick ballast system are required. The ballast is adjusted to balance the crane, allowing it to move smoothly with the load. With this monstrous crane, lifting a 24-ton mobile crane like the LTM1030 2.1 is an easy task. Slag Pot Carrier, Cress PELS Series. Steelmaking is always a hot topic. This is because steelmakers deal with extremely high temperature molten products. During steelmaking, the temperature of the metal and slag exceeds 1600 degrees Celsius. In such high temperature conditions, steel becomes a liquid itself, and the slag also turns into a liquid. At a certain point, the slag needs to be transferred from the furnace to a slag pot and carried outside the facility. To transport this unbelievably high temperature liquid, the Cress PELS series slag pot carrier is used. This machine is incredibly powerful and can lift up to 227 tons of slag pots when fully equipped. But it doesn't just lift them. 
It can also transport and tip the slag pots to pour the slag onto the ground to obtain valuable building materials. This spectacle is reminiscent of a small but impressive volcanic eruption. Wheel Loader Volvo L350H Take a look at the slag flowing out of the arc furnace. Doesn't it resemble the entrance to hell? However, no matter how hot it may be, it's time for cleanup. Since the slag has cooled down to 1,400 degrees Celsius and solidified, it can be scooped up and transported to the disposal site. That's where the Volvo L350H wheel loader comes into play. But it's not your average specification. Here, we have a modified version of the L350H specifically designed to handle high temperature materials. The wheels are protected by covers made of steel chains since they need to traverse the hot ground. Additionally, the bucket and other equipment are made of heat-resistant materials. Furthermore, all components prone to ignition, such as oil pipes and fuel systems, have been specially treated with flame-retardant coatings. It goes without saying that the cabin is equipped with air conditioning. Moreover, since there's always a risk of something exploding in the slag tunnel, it's fitted with bulletproof glass. Dragline CAT-8750 The CAT-8750 Dragline is Caterpillar's flagship model used for earth-stripping operations in quarries. With a massive bucket capacity of up to 116 cubic meters, it collects soil and rocks by being dragged across the ground using a complex system of ropes and winches. When fully equipped, the boom reaches a length of 132.5 meters. Additionally, this heavy machinery weighs 7.5 tons. Vertical Shaft Sink Machine VSM, by Heronect How are deep shafts constructed? Naturally, special machines are used for that purpose. Let me introduce Heronect's VSM as an example. This machine bears some resemblance to a dentist's tool used for drilling teeth, except that its drill is incredibly massive. Once installed with concrete rings ranging from 4.5 to 18 meters in diameter, this drill meticulously cuts through the ground. As the entire structure gradually sinks deeper and deeper, a caisson is formed from above. Since this machine is shielded by the walls of the concrete rings, excavation work for the shaft is not hindered by groundwater. This system is meticulously designed down to the smallest detail. Soil is suctioned up to the surface using powerful pumps, and lubricants are injected between the rings and the surrounding soil to facilitate smooth sinking of the structure. Quite an ingenious mechanism, don't you think? Snowplow Overazen TV2200 When there's just a little snowfall, all you need is a shovel to clear the snow from the road. But what if the surroundings are completely buried in snow? That's where the Overazen TV2200, the most powerful snowplow in the world, comes in handy. This machine can remove up to 12 tons of snow in just one hour and its snow-clearing operation is not only efficient, but also incredibly spectacular. With its powerful cutters, it breaks down the snow and not only sucks it in with a massive blower, but also blows it away laterally up to 35 meters away. And voila, everything is clear and tidy. Self-Propelled Forging Manipulator Dango and Dienenthal Hydraulic presses are used to manufacture large metal parts such as rings and shafts. But how are the workpieces transported and flipped during the machining process? That's where self-propelled forging manipulators like the MSM series by Dango and Dienenthal come into play. These machines use grippers to grasp red-hot ingots and transport them to the press, rotating them if necessary. Rotary Cutter Cutter Soil Mix Reinforcing soil is not an easy task, but Cutter Soil Mix provides a highly innovative solution to tackle it. Instead of driving piles or excavating holes to pour concrete, 
this machine quickly creates soil retaining walls. The wall is constructed in two stages, with the odd-numbered sections being consolidated first, followed by the construction of the even-numbered sections the next day. How is the process carried out? As two massive rotary cutters rotate towards each other, they penetrate the soft soil while an injection device pours a mixture of water and cement throughout the area. The soil then mixes and solidifies with the water and cement, forming a solid mass. This can be further reinforced by inserting steel bars into holes filled with mortar, which is a common practice. Shovel Truck Hitachi EX8007 The EX8007 is the largest among Hitachi's standard shovel trucks. However, calling it the largest is an understatement. This colossal machine, or rather monster, weighs a whopping 830 tons. This is equivalent to the weight of two fully loaded Boeing 747-400 aircraft at their maximum takeoff weight. To stand firmly on the ground, this shovel truck is equipped with a 1.5-meter wide caterpillar track. The bucket of this massive machine has a capacity of 48 cubic meters, allowing it to lift up to 75 tons of soil in one go. Speaking of 48 cubic meters, that's equivalent to 48,000 bottles filled with one liter of water. That amount of water would last at least 40 years for an individual. And astonishingly, this gigantic shovel truck is equipped with an emergency escape system for the operator. In case of an emergency, a long rescue bag extends, allowing for a quick and easy descent to the ground in no time. Our video has come to an end in no time. Thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video so much that you lost track of time. If that's the case, we would greatly appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and rate our video. Thank you in advance. Now, as usual, it's time to say goodbye to all of you for a while. Let's meet again soon. Goodbye.